In this video, I'm in Manila, Philippines, showing you interesting things I see along the way. Hello, I'm Phil Ernest, and this is my 62nd country, the Philippines. I'm gonna stop in and uh, get myself a haircut here. One of the things I like to do whenever in a uh, foreign country. And here's the place I'm picking to do it. Called LA Angels. So I'm gonna go into this shop and get myself a haircut. So this is a real Filipino haircut I'm getting today. This is one of the things that I've thoroughly enjoyed doing while traveling around the world when in a new country for the first time I stop in and get a haircut. I've found some really good barbers and this one was one of them. It cost me 100 pesos for this haircut which is equivalent to $1.77 in the USA. So that's it, got myself a haircut, I'm happy about it, uh, 100 pesos. So now let's get on to seeing the other parts of Manila. But this is this view from here. There's something here, this is a long strip that says exit, this says entrance. Let's see where this entrance leads me to. Where am I walking? This is called the Dancing Rings. It's an artwork that won first prize in the 2008 Olympic Committee. That's neat, it's showing the independence that the Filipino people have worked hard and enduring um, along the way. And this is proudly displayed right Check here. Check out the uh, Filipino traffic here in Manila. All jammed up, way, way back there. Even the police trying to get through with their sirens are stuck. Now, across the way from here is um, Rizal Park. That's a very interesting, nice park to uh, walk and tour. I did make a video on that one. Check it out. Uh, you can click on the link above if you want to see that video. So this is pretty neat. This uh, memorial clock here is representing the independence and freedom of the Filipino people. So it's a time uh, capsule letting uh, them know of the proud perfection, light, and wisdom that the Filipino proudly hold in their everyday life. And so this ox represents the courage and strength that the Filipino people hold. Really nice. Look at that big ox. Right here come a couple of armed guards. I think they're going to cross the street, take over at Park Rizal, and um, guard that statue there. So there they go with their guns. So here's another cool statue I found. This sculpture symbolizes new and reformed Filipinos who abide to the country's constitutional laws and patrioticness. And it's proudly displayed in this park right here. I can show you a better angle from away from the sun. Here we go. Here's a better shot okay. of it. Okay, so I did the whole walk here where it said enter and exit, and here's the, uh, the last of it right here. So now I'm gonna cross the street, see what else I can find over here. So here is the Fort Santiago. Regular is 75 um, pesos, 50 for a discount for students and senior citizens. It's 50 pesos. What's senior citizen? 60 years and older. So here's a little ticket booth right here. And then you go over here and you show your ticket and then you can start touring the place. So this is uh, the start of the Fort Santiago. Have a little bit of uh, music playing over here. Little shops in there, Galleria. Intramuros, again, means within walls, visitor center. No dogs, no smoking. Well, dogs have to be in a leash and of course, no and littering. here's the map, usually showing you a pretty good walking. And I have a little guitar player here. Walking along, you see the cannon. Beat up buildings here that, uh, maybe just go in here and sh see what you can see. If you're enjoying this video and finding it informative, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to receive more of this informative content, please subscribe to the channel. This is actually a pretty neat uh, view from here. You can see the uh, dome of the church of um, Manila Cathedral right there as the bells chime there. And then the big Filipino flag right there waving. As the church bells continue to sound, let me make my way over here toward this uh, old enchanted entrance gate. Looks kind of nice. Let's see what this is. And wow, look at this. This is a surprise. Didn't expect to see a river or water here flowing. This is almost like a moat. And then water running along that way as well. Four year two at the beginning of it. Here's the main fortress of Intramuros established by Miguel Lopez in 1571, burned during the siege of the Chinese pirate. Uh, in 1574. 
So again, this is another place like the church and the other thing that's gone over several being damaged in 1762 and 64 in the Seven Year War. So this place has also seen a lot of tragedy happen to it and then rebound back after it. So that even makes me more interested. Here's a place for selfies. So this is definitely a selfie moment as you see tourists here taking selfies. Okay, I'm going in now. Whoa, nice. There's the uh, another outer wall. We see some plants here. There's a staircase going up. So I guess that is how to get up to the top of that. So I got to remember to walk up there. But let me first tour around this area. This is the Plaza de Armas right here. So this is all leading up to it. I guess there's another ramp that way. And central plaza within the Fort Santiago used an open space for military drills and marches. That's what they used this big area for right here. Okay, so this is Dr. Avez. Now, in case you missed it, I did make another video um, on the park uh, that is dedicated solely entirely to him. He was uh, a hero to the Philippines and later suffered a death brutal to the by the um, Spanish um, at a firing squad. And in that other video that I made just last week, he... Uh, You'll learn about him and his history as he helped to fight for freedom for the Filipino people. So not only does he have a statue dedicated in this fort, but he also has his own park across the way. And across from that statue, here's another little area. Let's see what this is, it's like a theater. Oh, okay, nice. Now that I just checked out that little theater area, here's the statue, let's check out what's over here in this little area. So this is interesting. This is Jose Rizal. That's the gentleman there. And this is his prison cell that we're going to tour right now. He was uh, taken away in December of 1896 um, to prison. So let's go check this out. And this is the prison cell of Jose Rivels from uh, November 3rd to December 29th, 1896, when he was falsely charged with a crime. And then when you come up here, you can see the actual like court proceedings of him being tried and convicted here. Here he is. There's Dr. Jose Rivez right there. There's the jury box. And there's the person right there reading the sentence to him. And then across from the courtroom, you see this area here shows the actual clothes that he wore. They have uh, pictures of him here. And then a great big old mural here on this side here and then there's a close-up of what i tried to show you earlier but i guess the camera didn't get it here he is in his cell so there's dr jose Rivez in his cell and that's where i was at earlier in that area right there trying to show you the long picture of it so it's a better close-up view right there so as you exit the uh, museum you see one more little thing over here this is like the they have some cannons here protecting the uh the fort you could see a wall around this area. Okay, so there's the uh, Jose Rizel Museum on the uh, left side. So this is the last walk that Jose Rizel did before being um, taken to the firing squad, as you could see over here. After being out of the prison and then they sent him to the firing squad, but he stayed here just before going to the firing squad. Let's go through this little tunnel here and see what we see. Looks like there's a river, the bay. Looks like, uh, I believe this is Chinatown across the way. Oh, there it is. There's the bridge going to Chinatown right there. And here's the, the bay and then the sky scrapers here. And Chinatown is somewhere down this area. All right. Nice little fountain. What is this? Designed by the Asiana City of Culture. So take a look at this water as it flows here off really pretty. And then there's a sculpture back here. Let's see what this sculpture is all about. Oh, look at this. This is pretty nice. Look at this guy, sword and all. All right. And there's an old, old church right behind it. Let's see if I can get into this church. This will really make my day and the whole walk Look worth. at this old historic church. Really love it. Don't know if it's open, probably not. It's Our Lady of Remedies Parish. The Catholic Church has some figure, and look at that, really nice. Our Lady of Remedies 
parish. This is really nice, an old classic, historic, Catholic church in the heart of Manila. It looks like a wedding is going on here currently. The architecture in this church is Baroque style. This church was founded in 1588 and was dedicated in 1624. The, wedding. the groom has just kissed the bride and the wedding is officially over. And here's the church as the wedding is over. If you would like to see my other videos from the Philippines, please click on the link now. Thank you so much for watching.